This year we'll have um, new rules on how vehicle emissions are tested um, and there'll be more real world type testing um, which will give people a better indication of what actually emits from a car. Fleet operators are looking at these targets and looking at where they can procure or, or manage cars in a different way to get lower emitting cars so they'll have a better feel for the sorts of cars that they might be going for rather than on the old system it was not quite as accurate. There'll certainly be an improvement uh, but that's partly a function of the current regulations that are so weak uh, that they lead to major differences so NOx emissions are four times the current limits, CO2 is 41% above the current limits. The new regulations are trying to address that. Our view is that that will address about half the problem so we'll still leave a CO2 gap between official and reality of about 20% and the NOx will likely emit more than two times the regulated limit probably at least through until 2021. Whilst it's not possibly the perfect solution, I think it's a step towards gaining public confidence and providing a bit more information to people about what real world emissions might look like. We see it as, a, as, as an opportunity. Um, the rules are there for us to help the government develop a good, constructive, collaborative way of achieving their policy objectives. Uh, alongside um, low emission zones in London, which we are great supporters of and work very closely with Transport for London in implementing them, we can see now also other cities looking at what London is doing and again we can position our members as being part of the solution for those cities as well. So we, utilising our vehicles, could help them deliver the goals that they have in terms of cleaning up their streets. And certainly tax benefits and um, support for infrastructure on charging and things like that will drive people to low emission cars anyway and I think more companies have a greater understanding of sustainability and the impact fleets can have on that. The government's putting a lot of money into, um, into the taxation side, which fleets are very, very sensitive to. Um, from our side of things, uh, we, we see government focusing more on electric vehicles than plug-in hybrids. So, yes, government is supporting it well, and we hope for that to continue in the near future, because it does make an impact on fleet. What we do want is certainty and clarity of what they're doing, and so we're delighted that they've been listening to some of our calls, rather than having a very fragmented policy, depending on which part of the country you are. So I think the drive towards a, a lower carbon fleet is at top of most people's agendas these days. We're getting a national framework on standards and how air quality is being controlled and managed and that's very important for businesses to get that clarity and certainty. It helps with planning, investment but also helping to that transitional change of when we need to do things.